so guys let us make a mobile application a mobile application onboarding screen in figma to do that we need to first of all you know rename our board then the next thing we want to do is we need to research so we could search for dating app we need to find ideas for inspiration this is a website called layers.to.to it's also like dribble you can find inspirations for design so we'll let it load as we find different ideas for our application our goal is to design a login screen and we are here to find inspiration for what screen for the onboarding screen should look like so we keep searching and i like this one so open the new tab i also like this one i'll open the new tab while i keep scrolling i'm trying to see for more ideas um there are a lot of ideas on this platform so we can keep checking if you want to or we could just hold on to this so while these two are loading let us go back to figma to set up our interface so the first thing we want to do which i want to always explain is we need to give it our grid so you go to the to the right side of your figma panel and you just click on the layout grid click on it then you can see the grids are in it are in 10 point grid so we need to change it to column and it has five column we can change it to four and we need to have a margin left and right margin so we will do either 16 or 24. now that we have this size we will go back to our design and look at what we have here we have this beautiful design for the home page for the for the onboarding screen the, the this this one and this one are the onboarding screen sorry um this is not an onboarding screen clearly this is the match screen for these two people in it but this is the onboarding screen we can look at our first idea that we found and this is the onboarding screen so let us just steal the text life is too short to wait let's find your soulmate you know before we do that i want us to first of all add an image to our background so i'll find this plugin called Lumi. click on it allow it to load and i'll find um, what should i find picture of you know, people or picture of couples you know. maybe i'll find couples married couples i'll search for couple couple goals for example let's see if we find something something good okay i like all of these ideas but they are landscape pictures we need a portrait image so we just keep searching i like this one also i mean they look really good this is also great okay i think this is my favorite but i would rather just use something with good you know background that would work with white image it's what we need to find this would have been my best option because of the you know the picture contrast so i'll keep checking till i find one I'm just going to keep checking till I find one. Something that works. So searching for pictures are actually taking up a lot of time because you want to ensure that you are picking something. Um, something that works. Basically, I'm trying to check the settings for this. But I don't see, see it working out, so I just keep searching. I don't want to use a short picture because I don't want it to affect the landscape. It's like a Christmas photo instead. So I'll just keep searching for something befitting. This looks great. 
this looks great but i will you know just keep checking don't worry it takes a long time to find a good picture so i'm just gonna keep searching i know the right picture is somewhere you just need to find it the right picture is somewhere a wedding picture will also work you know i think it sells the idea that you know I love this picture so much. You know what? I'm going to try this first. You know, sometimes your spirit just tells you that this picture is going to work. Click on this plus. I've selected this area also. Don't forget, I've selected it. So I've clicked on the plus, selected this. And okay, looks good. And I'll just keep this outside and just create another one duplicate i like working with more than one idea i never take my first design as the last design when you start working with a company or an agency you would be required to use more than one picture i like this also and i have an idea for this i'm not going to insert this picture into the design i'm just going to create a rectangle and drag like this and now we're going to insert this image there i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with this this sometimes you have to be creative with your ideas, the ideas you come up with. Oh, also awesome. Awesome. I like it. So the idea for this particular design is not to use this design. It's to create something like this, where I delete this picture. Then I take this design, insert it here. Insert it here. I could fill it in. Now I want it to blend with the background, so I just select the background, then pick my color picker, and then change the entire color. But then the image looks, you know, funny. So I don't think it's gonna work. It, it would work, but there's no time to test it. I, I could find a way to make it work. I will just, you know, go back, duplicate this again. Yes, this is how it works sometimes. You have to search for the right picture and it takes time to find the best pictures that would work here. So I'll just keep searching, maybe go back. Uh, great picture, great pictures, great pictures. This might work also. I just wanted to be people facing us. This is good, but not for the main screen. So I need to find something else that would work in terms of luminance and contrast. Okay, this is taking really long. Awesome. This is good. I love the color and you know, there's a way it pops. You know, it pops actually. It looks like they are, you know, young couples. It looks that like they are you know people kind of put on an, an application you know they look like they're adventurous so yes they are very fashionable they would definitely have met on, on a written app so i'm letting it load on this particular design and while it's loading i just go back here to my life too short to wait let's find your soulmate you know there are some issues with this particular text and you know there's too much don't do this listen to me please this text is colored. This is colored. This is colored. That is too much attention. Only one item should take emphasis in the design. So you either decide to choose life colored or soulmate colored. So life is too short to wait. Find your soulmate. So we write this life is too short. To wait find your soulmate then I center it here and I'll change my to intertype I like using intertype you may not have it on computer yet then I will change it to 32 then change the text to white change it from regular to semi-bold 
electricity here. There's clearly still a problem. I don't want you don't want to put your text above the faces of the people you're trying to you know you're trying to sell. But you can also say there's a problem with the text. There are several ways to solve this problem. It's either to make a rectangle, R, on my computer to make a rectangle, and I turn this to black, take it into the design. drag it change the design from solid to linear gradient the first one this change it to opacity of five change this one opacity at 100 is fine now this particular image is in front of the lay of the of the text i want the text to come in front so i would just click my ankle brackets or i would right click and press bring to the back you can see that you can see the, you can now see the text more clearly right that is one way to do it but i'm going to delete this and we're back to default we can't see it i could go here click on this layer you can see that on your fill for the for the background there are two colors change this to black and I can now move it to the top and I can achieve the same thing by either making this 10% or I could change it to linear also and then have this one at 10% and take this bottom and make it you know, darker that's one step Step two is I could also adjust the exposure of the image, either increasing it or reducing it. You don't want to increase it most times, it doesn't work. Now, this looks really better. Everyone can see this. You can also adjust the contrast. So yeah, we have our main text. The second text is, um, there should be a second text on that, small text. There should be small text. So we'll see, your soulmate is waiting for you to join us. Meet the love of your life here. Yeah. So I will change this to um, regular, change this to 16. Change the color to white, drag it out, click the, this, drag it in again. Then I'm going to resize it and by dragging it like this, then pull it in here. Now, I told, I want us to understand our spacing between these two. So by selecting this one, I'll press Option or Alt, or I'll press my arrow keys on my computer, the right hand side of the computer, there are some arrow keys there. I'll press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see the spacing between these two items are eight. Good. Now I'm going to duplicate this again by holding Alt and dragging down or pressing Command D. And I'm going to change this text to Get Started Now. You know, get started is just fine. Now, this blue area is just so large. I click on this layout area so that it snaps around it. Then I press Shift plus A to give it an auto layout. Then I drag this down. Then I measure. I see it's, you know, it's zero. Touching this one, I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Measure, it's also eight. So eight here, eight here, eight here. But I want to change it. I want it to be 16. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to give this particular button a background. And I want to pick the background from our image. So um, I am going to just select this. And click on blue. And make the pattern 40. 
make top and bottom 12. I think 40 is still very small, so I'm going to do, you know what, I'm just going to hold on. Then I'm going to auto layout these two together, auto layout, and also auto layout to the bottom. You see, it arranged itself. Now, I want this button to be as wide as the text. So, select the button, click on the side that says org, then click on this. Look at this fill container. You can see it's an arrow that shows, that shows around this button when I click on fill container. So, you click on it, it expands the button. When I change the radius of this from 0 to 4, then I close, I turn off the grid so you can see the image properly. And we have this. It looks great. I'm going to change this from 12 to 16. So, this is it. So we already have an onboarding screen for a dating app. Then to present my work for people out there, I just press F on my computer. Then I look for a size, social media size, and I find the biggest size I can find here. And that should be Instagram photo. Click on it. Then I drag the design into my canvas. And I position it like this. So as you can see, I used, I first started with my grid. I measured everything and I got this design ready in no time. The other part of this design was finding the right image for the design, which we can always, you know, change. I would be happy to see what you can do. You can send me your work to my email and I can give you feedback on your work. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.